I'm going to show you some incredible research that was conducted in 2020 on COVID. This is something that if you implement, it may help you avoid going to the hospital with a future cold or flu or COVID itself. And they knew this in 2020, the research they did not publish until the middle June of 2024. This could have saved potentially millions of lives. And I'm going to show you the research and also follow to the end so that you don't use this procedure and make a mistake and severely harm yourself or someone may actually lose their life in doing it wrong. Hey everybody, Chad Cruz here with Health and Homestead. Now the research is specifically on something called nasal lavage or saline nasal irrigation. And you've probably seen this, maybe you've even tried it before. It can be done incredibly cheap or you can do it the more expensive way. I'm gonna show you how to do both. And once again, show you how to potentially in a future pandemic, they tell us there it's coming, uh, that this may also be something that will help you on a future pandemic. So. Let's look at the research. This is the study that was conducted in 2020. Research in the Ear, Nose, and Throat Journal reported on people who were prone to dangerous side effects of COVID. These were people who were considered overweight, actually obese, uh, BMI averaging 30. 30 is the beginning of obesity on two forms of nasal irrigation or nasal lavage. The patients were enrolled in the study within 24 hours of being confirmed to have COVID-19. They were all 50 years old and above with the average age of 64, and they would have a salt water mixture, the saline mixture with either iodine or sodium bicarbonate, which we normally call baking soda. And they were asked to irrigate two times a day. And this is the result here. And this is amazing. So this is percent of severe outcomes in people aged greater than 50 with laboratory confirmed COVID-19. These are the CDC averages and 9.5% of people who came down with COVID at the time were being hospitalized and one and a half percent at that time were dying. And according to the research in this report, and then in the nasal irrigation group, 1.3% of these people who were doing this nasal irrigation ended up going to the hospital and exactly zero died. And of those who actually stuck to the two times daily irrigation, 79.3% had zero to one symptom with coming down with COVID compared to 43.4% of those who irrigated less often. And those who took the intervention were 8.57 times less likely to be admitted to the hospital and none died. Now this is incredible. And what boggles my mind, and you may say, okay, I understand peer review takes time, publishing takes time. I get that. No problem. But knowing this, this is a procedure that has nearly zero amount of risk, nearly zero side effects other than a little nasal, you know, pressure sometimes. And yet it may have lowered people's chance of of going to the hospital by eight and a half times. I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, even if we didn't have the peer reviewed, finalized, it could have been something that we knew had very little side effects. What if it worked? They could have just told people back in 2020, at least by 2021, and potentially saved countless millions of lives. I wanna go into more research on how this may help avoid different diseases and future problems for you. It could change your life and it's simple and cheap. A study was conducted on people with severe asthma and rhinosinusitis. They were asked to begin using a neti pot one to two times a day with salt water. They were surveyed at the beginning and then after three months. After three months of nasal saline irrigation, 88% of patients said their nasal symptoms improved, 62% said their chest symptoms improved, but 12% of the people had a worsening of symptoms. Later I'll share with you why some of them may have gotten worse. This is almost 90% of people with asthma having a lowering of symptoms. I grew up with asthma, I don't have it anymore. I can run and feel great at this age because I have a better diet than I did when I was younger. But for those of you who may still be struggling with asthma, this might be something that could be very beneficial to you. Here's a pilot study reported in the journal Scientific Reports. It was conducted on people within the first 48 hours of coming down with an upper respiratory tract infection. These are URTIs commonly in the research. And the this randomized controlled trial had people either use saline nasal irrigation along with gargling three times a day or standard medical care. And the majority had rhinovirus and coronaviruses. Keep in mind, this is 2019 before 
COVID-19 was spreading the world. Coronaviruses have been around, I don't know, since time immemorial. So you've had coronaviruses, but COVID-19 was a novel coronavirus, as you remember. But notice what we see. And a smaller percentage had enterovirus, influenza A, parainfluenza virus type 3, and metanumovirus, which is HMPV. And in those who did the saline nasal irrigation gar and gargling, compared with the control group, they had significantly less days of runny nose, 1.8, these upper respiratory tract infections was lessened by 1.9 days and Bloch's nose was lessened by 2.7 days, sneezing lowered by 1.5, cough was lowered by 2.4, and hoarse voice was lowered by 1.7 days and most people use sea salt in this particular study. Now we're going to tell you how much to use and uh, in just a moment, but the point is you may say, well, Chad, it didn't fully stop the disease. No, but what if you could have nearly three days of less symptoms in some of the issues of a cold that you have or some kind of sickness that you're going through from one of these various pathogens? And hey, that would be much nicer to feel better faster. You may, you know, be able to get back to work sooner or just be with your family or not worry about being out in public or to just simply feel better much more rapidly. What about something as simple as hay fever, which is called allergic rhinitis in the research? A meta-analysis was conducted looking at research on the impact of nasal saline irrigation and allergic rhinitis, commonly known as hay fever. And they found that nasal saline irrigation reduced the amount of medication people took for their hay fever by 62.1%. It lowered nasal irritation by 27.6%. It helped clear their mucus by 31%. And they had an improvement in quality of life by 27.8%. You may say, oh, yeah, that's just 30%. But hey, what if during allergy season, you could have at least feel 30% better roughly? I mean, that's, hey, it's something to feel better for, you know, very cheap, almost no money at all once you own the little neti pot or whatever you're using. But what about safety? Saline irrigation has been tested on people all the way down to infants and has been shown to be safe and effective with very few side effects, but talk to your doctor before using it on infants. There is one thing that could cause you to actually die if you do it wrong. And I'll explain what that is shortly. Disinfecting is important. Past research revealed that without disinfecting, you can reinfect your sinuses. An investigation found that microwaving with saline for 90 seconds seemed to be the sweet spot for both disinfecting and preserving the life of the nasal irrigation container, something like the neti pot. By the way, one of the important things to think about is you either want to use water that is distilled water, purified, or you want to boil the water because there have been a case or two, at least in the literature, of people who were using just standard tap water that had something like an amoeba. They put it up their nose and they ended up, well, dying. And so you don't just want to use any kind of water that may have other pathogens in it that can cause even worse problems. So distilled water or boiled water, you'd likely want to boil it for five minutes on a good boil. Once it's boiling, let it boil for five minutes and then obviously cool it down. You don't put boiling or too hot water up your nose. You want it to be, you know, slightly warm or cold. Obviously, if it's slightly warm, it's going to be easier to deal with. It's not going to be as cause as much of an annoyance to your nasal passages. And you can use maybe a half, half teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. Uh, you can use pure salt. In one of the studies, as I mentioned, they were using sea salt. One of the studies did use iodine. So there is potential for iodized salt, but you can make your own choice. Like I said, something as simple as sea salt is, should generally be safe to you. Now I'm gonna show you two different methods that you can use, and I'll tell you the pros and cons of each one after doing it. Here is the very cheap version, just a plastic neti pot, and there's a cap that will go on top here. This particular neti pot comes as its own saline packets and it you can use one in the beginning to test it out and you can use two if you can handle it and I'll be using two in this case. You simply pour the salt in the container and the neti pot has a line you just fill it up to the line remember, use distilled or boiled water. Once again, cool it down before you put it in the pot or before you put it in your nose. Now we put the top on it and then it has a little top to let air flow so that as it goes into your nose, it can keep going. So what you wanna do is you want to cover that up, cover the other end and shake it up. 
you just take the neti pot and you stick it in one of your nostrils. You can do it in one or the other and you lean your head and you have to keep your mouth open or it stops the flow. And obviously this is not pretty. You do have to breathe out your mouth. And that's it. Now what I'll do is I'll go in the house and I will uh, kind of clean up a little bit and I typically I'll lean over and it comes pouring out of my nose again afterward and it's it's just the water there not very pleasant but I'll show you the second method and then I'll tell you the pros and cons of each one now I want to show you how to use the navage and then I'll give you kind of my experience with both different options to use the navage you open up the top here now they have a little button they want you to use these and you can use them but you have to buy them there, you can take a zip tie and wrap it around here and hold that button down, then you don't have to use it. Or you can buy things on Amazon. I'll have links in the description. Uh, but they come with some of these, and you can keep buying them if you choose to. These are the saline packs. So you have to put the, the water in first. And once again, you want to use distilled water. And so we'll fill that up. And there's a level line, and I am just to the line now on the side. And... So we'll put this on now, put that in, and you simply shut it. It's going to go in, in this case, my left nostril. Now you can turn this if you want to do the opposite nostril. Uh, it's really up to you. And so you put it to your nose. They actually suggest getting it wet a little. And part of what it is, you want to be able to breathe normal, not block off the airflow back there. And there's a button to push. And we'll give it a try. There, we're done. Let me. Now, it's relatively, I mean, you can see some debris in there. It's kind of gross. I should have told you, don't look. If you don't want to see this, don't look. But if you want to see, now, if you're really sick, you'd see a ton of stuff floating around in there. There's a little bit in there. Uh, not too bad because I'm not sick. But that's one of the interesting things. You can see what's inside of you. Um, so it's pretty simple. You just push the button. And to me, afterward, as you can hear, I'm a little congested. I need to let a little more water out of my nose. Um, but now I'll tell you kind of the benefit, pros and cons of each one. Now, the neti pot is very cheap. You can get them for probably $7, $10, $50. You can get a ceramic one, which I would actually suggest because ceramic ones are probably going to last longer. It's easier to put them in a microwave. You can put a plastic one in the microwave to disinfect it, but you probably feel better about microwaving a ceramic one. So that's what I... That sounds like a great option. I'll have a link down in the description for that. I'll probably get one of those myself. Uh, it's also... The neti pot is much easier to clean than the navage. Uh, the, you know, you can clean them both, but the neti pot, you can quickly just wash it out or, you know, put some soap and water in it and throw it in the microwave very quickly. And, uh, <clears throat> but the navage, I think if you have two people in the house, husband and wife, or two people living together like that, if somebody was really sick, the navage is easier to use in the sense of you don't have to have your head cocked for, I don't know, a minute or two to the side. It can be, if you were really weak and tired, that'd be a little bit more difficult. Whereas the Navaj, you can bring it to your uh, husband, wife in bed or your child in bed, put it to their nose. You do have to make sure to let the air, if you have your mouth open, to let the air, f air flow through. If you don't, it can kind of drop down into the back of your throat. But you need to let the air th flow through to the back of your mouth with your mouth open. And uh, the Navaj, one of the negatives, it's pretty expensive. It's not cheap. It's battery powered. So if the battery goes out, it obviously doesn't work, but it comes with a battery. You can get more batteries for it, obviously, in the future if the battery does die. The other thing is they want you to use their little pods, their saline pods, and you're welcome to do that. If you feel better about that, you can buy them. It costs more money. But once again, there's a workaround. You can buy something to put in there that blocks that little engage button. It makes it so it will engage and you can just put your own salt and water in there so you don't have to pay as much money. So that's one option. And they're both great. I think, like I said, if, if somebody's really sick, just bringing them the, the Navage, you can do that. But if you're really tired and you use the Navage and then you gotta go through the process of cleaning it, that takes more time with the Navage. So they both have positives and negatives. The old-fashioned neti pot, you really just can't beat that. 
but they're both great. And, uh, you know, there's a verse that says he gives to all life and breath and all things. And, you know, having clear breath or being able to breathe well is very important. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and I'll have links down below in the subscription for each one of these things. God bless and have a fantastic day.